this is coming out good, guys. Look at that. Look at the lines. Look how tight the lines are. Wow. This is a desktop trash can. I showed you guys the one from this morning. It was printing beautiful too, but the power went out and I lost the model. So I'm probably gonna buy a, a, a battery backup. But uh, where are we at so far? 53%, you see that? Is that crazy? 47% more it has. This will probably go all night till tomorrow. But this is my big machine, guys. This thing's staying right here. I love it. It really does print really, really well. Check that out. Looks like a piece of metal, doesn't it? It's that filament. I got this silver filament. Really, really nice. Good morning, everybody, on the Saturday. You hear my voice? I was up till six o'clock in the morning because the other night the power went out and I had a fail. The same project I'm printing now, I started printing, see? The power went out and never came back on and the bed got cold. So it, it shot this thing off the bed. If the bed doesn't stay warm, the model won't stay on it. Anyway, yeah, I got no sleep. I thought e-bikes kept me up all night. Now I got 3D printers keeping me up all night because I was concerned something would happen to this project. This was a 23 hour, 23 and a half hour project. It's on right now. It's about to be 23 hours. It's 22 hours and 57 minutes. That's how long this has been going, guys. I originally printed this one for the top of the machine. You see that bar cut out? It goes, it sits on top of the machine. But then I'm thinking, I gotta reach up there every time I wanna throw garbage away. It holds filament. You know, when it prints filament, you peel that stuff off. This is a desktop version. It's just about to be finished. Look at that. It's on the ears. See it inside? It's like a little desktop trash can. Look at the detail on this thing. Pretty cool. This printer really, totally doing a really good job. Look how tight those lines are. This is amazing. This is this is definitely my best print. I mean, I did the lighthouses. They came out pretty good. But look at this thing. And this filament. I really like this filament. It's called the Silk PA. Well, I, I'm wrong. Silk PLA. This is just a PLA filament. But the Silk Look at that. It actually makes the model look like metal. See the ears? It's just about to be finished on top. It's printing the ears now. Really, really sharp. Look at the detail. Wow. That came out really, really good. I was going to send this machine back and get the original version that had the dial knob. But, uh, if I could just get past this touchscreen, learn how to do it a little better, I'm fine. Because this is proof. This machine prints beautifully. Look at that. I may be buying a bigger version, guys, than the one I showed you last night. Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that model. That is sharp. Wow. Oh, yeah. Using a lot of filament. Anyway, this one, guys. I don't know. I... I'm possibly sending this thing back. Well, first off, I want to say it came from Amazon. And this is not the instruction booklet. This is just a parts booklet, quick start guide. I had to go online to download the, uh, the original, uh, what is it, the instruction booklet, like the manual. Never came with one. And this is, this is for me last night. That's just glue that I put on the machine. But when I first took it out of the package, I'm not even kidding you, I shit you not. There was rice stuck to here. Somebody was eating around this that owned it before me. So I got, I, got a used, I got a used unit. There was pieces of brown rice stuck to here and here and some kind of celery down here. So somebody must have been eating. Sorry for the burp, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> somebody must have been eating next to this machine and spitting food out all over it. There was rice here. There was celery down here. Did it print good? It printed really good. Let me show you. See that model? Printed perfect. Really, really good. And even the lighthouse. Let me show you the lighthouse. Hold on. Here's the lighthouse. I actually did two of them. And it came out, it came out good. See that? 
came out really good. I got the hole down there for the light. The light's inside. Lights up the lighthouse. I was going to sell these things. Oh, shoot. The light's going on a little bit. I don't want to go on. I'll shut off in a minute. Anyway, the reason why I want to get rid of this, too. Let me show you guys real quick. Well, besides the fact that it was used, that pisses me off right there. I guess Amazon can't control everything. Sometimes people send new stuff back and they just send they resend it out. Anyway, uh, here's my concern for long term. You see these plastic rod ends? It's almost like a, they connect to like, have you ever seen an RC car? You guys have all had RC cars probably when you were younger. These are little turnbuckles. They look like turnbuckles and they connect to the RC car. But after time, this plastic gets worn out. That's my concern. The machine is great, prints pretty good, even though it's small. I bought this just for the lighthouses. I was just gonna print them in, in mass production because this thing prints them very fast. But like I told you, plastic, plastic, even the extruder. Let me show you the extruder. Let me turn this around. This is called the extruder. This is all plastic, you know? Who the hell wants that? All this plastic stuff is gonna wear away. So, the machine was used when I got it. It had food on it. It has plastic parts I was unaware of because it didn't say that in the description. I didn't see these plastic parts. So I'm gonna send it back, guys. And I'm probably gonna buy a more expensive one. It's, it, it's something I, I've been looking at. It's called the FL Sun Racer. It, it prints very, very fast. It has all metal parts. Well, mostly metal parts. I can always replace the extruder and make it metal. But uh, yeah, this is gonna go back. I'm pissed off already that it came used. And, and no instruction booklet. I had to go online to download an instruction booklet. Anyway, let's go look at this other model real quick. I got stuff on the floor, there's stuff everywhere. Because you gotta clean these beds with alcohol, alcohol and water. I learned the alcohol and water trick from Jersey 3D printing. I'll put a description of this, my buddies. Uh, the guy that came over and taught me how to do this stuff. I'll put a description of his new channel. He just started YouTube. And uh, I'll put his name up here somewhere. All right, I'll show you guys his new channel. Maybe you want to check it out. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to 3D printing. If you guys are looking to get into this, follow his channel and check out his videos. Really well informed. He'll, he'll get you started in the right direction. And he answers questions. So you guys want to say something about one of his videos, he'll get back to you. And he'll let you know how to do it. You got me this far so far. I was printing little lighthouses on this big machine. This is my first big print. And I don't know if you noticed, but my first lighthouses, the lines, these are called the lines. They were horrible. This guy got me looking like this now. You see that? I don't know if you see it. You see the tight lines here? Look at that. It's like flawless. He made me do that. He taught me how to do that because you gotta keep level on the bed. A lot of beginners get the misconception of auto leveling and, and it really doesn't auto level the bed it just does a grid it's like a it's like a grid that it remember and memorizes for the needle that's all it does you got to go in there three or four times and level the bed manually he taught me that he said be patient keep leveling the bed and you'll get results like this it's perfect results anyway i'll put the name of his channel up if you guys want to check it out i appreciate it he's a really good guy all right, guys, this is it for this video. This is almost done. Really cool. Came out good. I was going to do another video and show you the end results, but you can pretty much see it now. They're just doing the tip of the ears right now. Everything's pretty much done. Look at the quality of that. Unbelievable. And for those of you that maybe don't know this machine, this is the Creelty Ender 3 S1 Pro. It comes with the light and it has a touch screen. And this is called the direct line extruder. Well, yeah, it goes right in. It does away with all that tube stuff and everything. It just goes directly to the hot head. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is really, really sharp. Look at that. 23 and a half hours. That's a long print, but it came out quality. And I also did not leave the, the, the speed at 100%. I left it at 60 because I wanted everything accurate and pristine and it look, looks very pristine to me look at that it actually looks like a piece of metal all right guys check out my buddy's channel talk to you guys later thank you